Today we're going to be talking about our digital nomad solution for earning tax-free income. Uh, but before we get into that, subscribe to our channel, please. We're trying to build our subscriber base. I have a lot of useful shit to say. You're not going to want to miss it. So please click that subscribe button. Uh, secondly, as I've said in a few of my other videos, I just recently started using one of these whiteboards. Uh, I'm not very good at it yet. I'm trying to get better at it, but I feel like when I start writing, uh, it's sometimes sideways or I lose my train of thought. So just bear with me as I use this more and more. Uh, I promise I'm going to get better at it. Uh, I also have some notes that I'm going to be looking at from time to time over here on the right. So if you see me walk off camera for a second, I just want to make sure that I don't miss any valuable information that I want to convey to you guys. So as I said, today we're going to be talking about how you can earn tax-free income with our digital nomad solution. And you can actually earn quite a bit of income, uh, tax-free income with our digital nomad solution. You can actually earn up to $122,664 tax-free as a US person digital nomad. If you're married, that number goes up to $230,264. And you know, right now, more and more people are working remotely due to coronavirus. I mean, a lot of companies are telling their employees, you know, they're not gonna be working from the office at least through the end of the year. Some are saying through the end of 2021. And there's more, more, so anyway, more and more people are working remotely and more and more people have the possibility to work remotely than ever before. So if you have that possibility, why do you want to be, you know, crammed up in an apartment in, in some city? Why don't you want to do it on a, on a beach, for example? I mean, I worked all of August from Ibiza. It was awesome. Um, anyway, uh, as I'm sure you know, if you earn, if you're a U.S. citizen, you earn money, you pay income taxes on it. It doesn't matter where you live. You live in America, you live overseas because of the U.S.'s. Um, a citizenship based taxation regime, no matter where you live, you pay taxes on your uh, income. Now, let me tell you a little bit about the US taxation system. It's going to help you understand this digital nomad solution uh, a little bit better. So, like I said, if you're, well, it doesn't matter if you're self employed or you're an employee, you pay income taxes in, in the US as a US citizen, right? So, you pay income taxes and those go up to a maximum rate of 37%. Now, in addition to this, if you're an employee, you pay FICA. So FICA is basically your payroll taxes, your Medicare and your social security. Now as an employee, 50% of FICA is withheld from your paycheck. And the other 50% is, is, is paid by your employer. The total equals 15.3%. Okay, 15.3%. It's a really ugly buy. Um, if you're self-employed, you pay self-employment tax, okay? And self-employment tax is 15.3%. So it's basically the self-employed person's FICA, right? So you have your income taxes, you have um, your, if you're an employee, you have your FICA taxes, and if you're self-employed, you have your self-employment taxes. Now, if you live and work abroad, you can qualify for what's known as the foreign earned income exclusion and the foreign housing exclusion. And basically this is a tax free amount of money that you can earn while living abroad. And both of these amounts are adjusted for inflation each year. So every year they go up a little bit. So for this year, for example, um, the foreign earned income exclusion is $107,600. The, Foreign housing exclusion, so this is like for, for you can exclude uh, money that you paid for housing costs, is $32,280.
But that's, that 32280 is a little bit of false advertising because the IRS actually only allows you to exclude 14% uh, of, it's a complicated calculation, but long story short, $107,600 is your foreign earned income exclusion and your foreign housing exclusion deduction uh, is $15,064. And so the combination of those two equal the $122,664 uh, of tax-free income I said that you could earn. If you're married, a married couple only gets one um, foreign housing exclusion or deduction, but you can get dual foreign earned income exclusion. So if you're married, the tax-free amount of money that you can actually earn from, from living and working abroad is $230,000, 264, sorry, 230, $264. So the next question is, how do you qualify for the foreign earned income exclusion and the foreign housing exclusion deduction? So I'm going to tell you, the first is your income has to be foreign earned income. Okay. Now, Okay, so to qualify, it has to be foreign earned income. Now, foreign earned income means that the income first must be foreign. And in order for the income to be foreign, it means that the services you provided to receive the compensation that you got have to have been performed outside of the United States. So if you're working not in the United States, the income is going to be foreign. Okay, Earned income means it's income that you earn from working. So like self-employment income, wages, things like that. Does not include passive income like dividends, interest, rents, royalties, stuff like that. So the first qualification to qualify for the foreign earned income exclusion, the foreign housing exclusion, is the income has to be foreign earned income. The second qualification is you have to qualify for one of the two following tests. So you have to qualify for either the, the physical presence test or the bona fide residence test. So the physical presence test requires you to be present in a foreign country for 330 days in a 12 month period, which means, you know, you have about 35 days that you could spend in the United States or not in a foreign country. And this is an important distinction because the physical presence test doesn't require you to be outside of the United States for 330 days. It requires you to be present in a foreign country for 330 days. So for example, if you're flying over international waters or you're on a cruise ship over international waters, you're not present in a foreign country, it doesn't count towards that 330 days. But if you meet the physical presence test, so present in a foreign country for 330 days, or at least 330 days during a 12 month period, you would qualify for the foreign earned income exclusion deduction. The bona fide residence test is a little bit more flexible. It's a lot more flexible, actually. So it doesn't count days. The bona fide residence test requires you to have been a tax resident of a foreign country for a period that includes a whole tax year. So you have to have been a resident of a foreign country you know, for a whole tax year, January 1st to December 31st. And digital nomads by definition, are nomads, they're wanderers. So a lot of times they don't settle down in a place. Um, and so qualifying for the bona fide residence test is sometimes a little bit challenging. That being said, there's a lot of Caribbean island nations um, during the COVID pandemic that have opened up and said, hey, if you're a digital nomad, you can come pay a fee and we'll give you residency uh, here on this island. So there are some options to become a digital nomad and meet the bona fide residence test with, in, in some of these island jurisdictions, um, how this would work, right? Because in reality, and I'm going to tell you about our solution because our solution is going to make it so that you can take advantage of the foreign earned income exclusion and avoid FICA and avoid self-employment tax. Okay. Um, now you might be thinking to yourself, well, I can just, Keep working. Well, let me back up. You need to be self-employed in order to realize the full benefits of our digital nomad solution. And I'm going to tell you why. If you just continue to be an employee of your current employer and you moved abroad and started performing your job from there, 
you could technically qualify for the foreign earned income exclusion, right? You would be earning your income uh, in a foreign country because you'd be doing the work there. And as long as you qualified for either the physical presence test or the bona fide residence test, you would qualify for the foreign earned income exclusion, which would get you out of having to pay the income tax. But it's not going to get you out of the 7.65% in FICA taxes that are being withheld from your paycheck. Likewise, assume yourself a self-employed digital nomad, like you're a freelancer, and you decide, okay, I'm just going to start being a digital nomad, working from abroad. You can absolutely do that. And the foreign earned in, and assuming you meet the criteria, right? You're performing your work from a foreign country, so it's foreign earned income, and you meet either the physical presence test or the bona fide residence test. Your self-employment income will qualify for the foreign earned income exclusion and foreign housing exclusion deduction. However, this will only get you out of the income tax, not the 15.3% self-employment tax. So if you made 100 grand, for example, of, of net profit, you wouldn't have to pay the income tax on that, but you'd have to pay $15,300 in self-employment tax. Not ideal, right? So how does our digital nomad solution get you out of paying the income tax as well as paying the FICA taxes in the case of an employee or, or the self-employment taxes uh, in the case of a self-employed person. So like I was saying, uh, to qualify for the, the digital nomad solution to really reap its full benefits, you need to see, be self-employed. So here's how it works. First thing, we set up a Rack ICC company for you. Now, Rack ICC is, stands for the Raz Al Khaimah International Corporate Center. Raz Al Khaimah uh, is an emirate, so like a state in the United Arab Emirates, as, like where Dubai and Abu Dhabi are. And they have a corporate register there where you can form international business companies that pay zero income tax and zero employment taxes. So no, nothing like FICA. So the first thing that we do is we set up a RAC ICC company for you, okay? Then the RAC ICC company employs you as an employee and agrees to pay you as a salary up to the maximum limits uh, of the foreign earned income exclusion or foreign housing exclusion or deduction. So $122,664. Now, because there's no employment taxes in the UAE and no income taxes in the UAE, when it pays you your salary as an employee, the UAE is not going to withhold any income taxes and there's going to be no payroll taxes to pay like FICA taxes. So that means as a salary, you get that entire $122,664 in your hands. Okay. The next thing we do is we have your clients pay your RAC ICC company. So basically, you start doing your work through the RAC ICC company. So your, 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 your clients will contract with your RAC ICC company, they'll pay your RAC ICC company, and your RAC ICC company will pay you a salary uh, of the $122,665 which will be tax-free to you. So this has a lot of benefits, and I'm gonna give you an example now. Let's assume that your RAC ICC company, I'm gonna do a little math over here, but let's assume that your RAC ICC company earns income, earns revenue of 200,000, right? So 200K in revenue. Now your RAC ICC company, in addition to your salary, it can also deduct business expenses like your travel, telephones, equipment like computers, all that kind of stuff, which is going to reduce the profit of your Rack ICC company, right? So let's assume you have 50,000 in business expenses like travel and all that kind of stuff. So that takes you down to 150,000 in profit. Now, from that 150000 in profit, it's going to pay you 
$122,664 as your salary. That's going to leave your Rack ICC company with a, with a profit of $27,336. $27,336, okay? That's going to be the profit left in your Rack ICC company. This $122,664, you've gotten completely free of tax. Now, the U.S. will levy, levy what's known as a guilty tax of 10.5% on the $27,336. So, I'm going to go over here. 10.5% guilty on profit. So the 10 point, sorry, the 10.5% uh, on the profit equals 28.70.78 in taxes. That means that you made this 122, $664 completely tax free. And on the $27,336,000, you paid $28,78 in taxes. That means that in total, you earned $150,000 in income, the $122,664 plus the $27,336, and only paid $28,78 in income taxes. That comes out to 1.9% income taxes on $150,000. This is an unbeatable solution for any digital nomad. Any digital nomad that's self-employed and traveling around and, and paying the self-employment tax and not taking advantage of something like this is a moron because this is a huge savings. 1.9% income taxes, that's what Google pays. And imagine how many millions it spent setting up its corporate structure. You can take advantage just like they do of the tax laws that are available to you. Um, so again, uh, the digital nomad solution will allow you to earn up to $122,664 completely income tax free. If you're married, you can add on another $107,600 if you employ your spouse through your Rack ICC company for a total of $230,264 in tax-free income. Uh, if you're interested in setting this up or you have any questions, shoot us an email at info at esquiregroup.com or check us out online at www.esquiregroup.com. We look forward to hearing from you and don't forget to subscribe. Peace!